and so I sat him down and I told him that you would be a great fit. I mean, I don't want to sound totally entitled, but it makes perfect sense that I'd be signed up to advertise a brand. I'm young, I'm hot, and I'm an influencer. It's the only logical next step, right? Uh, okay, well, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. I mean, you haven't even seen a contract yet. Whatever. And while it might be the next logical step, it's not one that everybody gets to take. I mean, you need connections for these kind of breaks to happen, you know? And I have them. Well, I have them. Stuart's my uncle, remember? So, you're my boyfriend now. You owe me. Okay. Well, first off, I'm not sure that's how relationships work. And second, we've only been together a month, so slow your roll there, cowgirl. Stuart needs an influencer to push his brand. And I need the money and the publicity that comes with it. It's a perfect match. And it will lead to more connections, more deals, and most importantly, more money. Is that Here is your ravioli. Thanks. And here's your soup. What? Your soup. I don't know what planet you're on, but I ordered the steak. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I... Take it away and go do your job better, okay? Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry, I must have grabbed the wrong plate. I'll be right back with your steak. God, there's always a dumbass wherever you go, even in an expensive restaurant. What is wrong with this stupid world? <laughs> she just made a little mistake, that's all. Why do you make excuses for people who don't know what they're doing? Because we don't even know her. I mean, she could just be having a bad night. We, we have no idea what's going on in her head. But hey, if her only crime is, is grabbing the wrong plate, maybe we shouldn't be so harsh. Can't you cut her some slack? What if I was allergic? Yeah, but you're not. That's not the point. Okay, well then enlighten me a lot. Here's your steak once again. I'm very sorry that was my fault. We're not paying for you to be sorry. We're paying top dollar for top service. Tell your manager I'm not paying for this. I'm sorry, but I don't think the manager will be wanting to comp this meal over something so trivial. Are you now telling me what I should or shouldn't feel when the service I expect and pay for isn't adequate? Through this, bring your manager over here right now. Uh, Alana, honey, maybe we dial this back. Are you a bit. gonna stand there all night, or should I get the manager myself? Good evening. Um, how may I be of assistance? Your server screwed up, so I'm not paying. And if you disagree, I will trash your restaurant all over the internet and back again because I am a highly paid influencer. It's that simple. Or do you need a crash course in English too? No, no, uh, madam, it's okay. Um, I understand and I truly am sorry. Of course, we're gonna take it off her wages and uh, we'll calm the entire meal for you. I am truly very, very sorry. Thank you. So is this how you're gonna act when you're a big, scary brand ambassador? Just because I realize my self-worth and what I won't put up with any longer doesn't make me any less of a human being. What the hell are you doing? Pull yourself together, Julie. I mixed up the plates. I've been studying so much for the law finals that I just- Look, I don't give a damn. You leave your personal stuff at the door when you get to work. Do you understand that? and I'm dunking your pay. Whatever they eat tonight, that is on you. And get your ass back on the floor. Now, this is a beautiful cashmere sweater I picked up today. Whoa, cashmere? How can you afford that? I mean, you haven't signed a contract yet. Credit is a girl's best friend. 
I've got to step up my look now. I'm working for a high-end client, which reminds me... Could you please be a hun and front me the cash for this month's statement? Uh, okay. Well, it's a little entitled of you to think that you can spend my money on your stuff. We haven't even gone out that long yet. Don't worry. When the contract's signed, I'll be spending my own. Here's hoping. Oh, the pizza's here. Oh my god. It's the waitress from Sorrento's. What? Here's your pizza. Are you stalking me now? I, I didn't know. So did you bring the right pizza or did you screw this up too? Hmm. It's a pizza. Well, at least you got that much right. And here's a tip for you. Stop screwing up at work and maybe people will start respecting you. Hello, Julie. Kindly note that your payment for studies is overdue. Please complete your study payment at your earliest convenience to avoid any disruptions. Uh, hey. Um, I'm so sorry about that. Here, let me give you a proper tip. I'm really sorry about her. She, uh, she can get a little cranky sometimes. I noticed. Thanks, though. I mean, I'm glad that there are still people like you in the world to balance out people like her. And here's for the other night. There's no way you should have had to pay for our dinner. That's crazy. This should cover it. Plus tip. Alana, it feels like your behavior is just getting worse. I mean, how can you treat people like that? I'll treat people how I like, Darius. I'm signing a store tomorrow. You know, I keep hearing about these values of yours, but I have yet to see any in action. I'm afraid I'm going to have to rescind any and all offers, Alana. The deal's off. Uh, what, what are you talking about? I do charity work. I work in soup kitchens. I do? Look, I did my uh, due diligence on you. I checked you out. There's no record whatsoever of you working for any charities. I, I do it anonymously. Look, regardless, an hour ago, this came to my attention. So trivial? Are you now telling me what I should or shouldn't feel when the service I expect and pay for isn't adequate? Screw this! Bring your manager over here right now! Uh, you've gone viral, all right, but for all the wrong reasons. And there's no way in hell I'm going to pay you to represent my brand. You are literally everything that's toxic. I can explain. Explain it to your adoring fans. They're the ones who'll be coming after you anyway. Look, I don't care. All I know is I dodged a major bullet here. Thank you. We're done here. Goodbye now. I'm so sorry, Uncle Stewart. I, really, I, I'm sorry. that some witch, some lunatic would upload that video. That's an invasion of my privacy. That's not for the world to have to see. Look, Alana, if you're gonna act that way in public, then you can't expect any privacy. I mean, not in this day and age. Now everyone can see who people really are. But that's not who I am. That's me being angry at a crappy waitress who didn't know what she was doing. Alana, are you even hearing yourself? No, you were being a total brat, and, and not for the first time either. It was only a matter of time before someone caught it on camera. You're gonna turn on me too? That's not what boyfriends do. I am not turning on you. I I'm just being honest. That's what we want from each other, right? Honesty? 
That's cruelty. Oh, Lana, that is just so ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. I just can't do this anymore. Your constant sniping, your anger, your jealousy. The only time you're happy is when you're buying things for yourself, and that's with my money. So, you know what? I'm done. Stop being so childish. Maybe if you take me to Tiffany's, I'll forgive you. <sighs> wow. Look, your values are seriously messed up. Okay, I, 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 I thought I was going to find an influencer for my uncle, but now I don't even want you as my girlfriend. Are you listening, Alana? It's over. <sighs> well, you can ditch my phone number, you loser. I'm blocking you. Thanks again for meeting with me today. To be honest, I still don't know why, but um, either way, I think it's gonna make a great Insta story. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've noticed, but my girl, <laughs> well, my ex-girlfriend insulting you has gone viral. It's come to my attention, yeah. Listen, um, I'm embarrassed that I didn't step in. I, I'm sorry. Well, thanks, and it's okay. I mean, I didn't know what to say either. And the good side of it is that the video went actually viral and somebody had created a GoFundMe for me. A lot of people have donated like over $20,000, which is crazy. <laughs> Whoa, that's actually unbelievable. I know, right? Well, hey, you deserve every penny. Well, I'm not keeping everything anyway. Like, I'm keeping half for my studies in law, and the other half I'm donating it to a charity of car crash victims, so. And if I wouldn't have all of this money right now, I would need to quit all of my studies. So, to be fair, your ex is a blessing in disguise. Well... Julie, you have viral fame and adoration, and the people who are getting to know you seem to really like what they find. Could I interest you in a business opportunity? Uncle Stewart, this is Julia. She is everything you've been looking for. How do I know I can trust your judgment? After your last recommendation. Remember that girl in the video that Alana was yelling at? Well, she's blowing up right now as the perfect example of another good person getting dumped on by the rich and the mighty. She is? A GoFundMe was set up for her that's raised over 20 grand already and continues to grow every day. And her socials are exploding. I thought you looked familiar. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. And what are you gonna do with that money? Well, half of it I'm keeping and using for my law degree studies. And the other half I'm donating it actually to a charity because it came to me via Goodwill and I'm using it for Goodwill. You're attending law school, huh? Yeah, well, both of my parents got disabled in a car accident a few years ago. Uh, the car accelerated while my dad was trying to break it and then it drove into a grocery store. The car manufacturer destroyed us in court, even though we found the same accidents happening countless times too with that same make of car. And I know it might sound a little cliche, but that's what inspired me to go to law school, to stop it from happening again. And the only thing that can stop a bad guy with a law degree is a good guy with a law degree. And I do work at a soup kitchen. Darius has told me you like people who do it, but people who actually do it and not lie about it. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about your parents. I like you, young lady, a lot. 
How about I take care of that law degree for you? And in exchange, you can be the face of Beau Parfum. I would love that, yes. Welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. You know, I'm just so happy for how things turned out for you, for both of us. What can I get you? Alana? What are you? Uh, how long have you worked here? Well, I had to take a couple of jobs just to pay off my credit card bills. It's funny how everything's geared towards materialism until you spend too much and your boyfriend and your dad refuse to pay. I'm learning the hard way how to stand on my own two feet. Okay, well, um, you're not going to cause any trouble, are you? Because I, I, I didn't know that you worked here when I made the reservation and neither of us did. Don't worry, I'm not going to be salty. And you were right about my values, Darius. They've been messed up. And Julie? Yeah? I just want to let you know how truly sorry I am. I was an absolute horror to you. All I can think about is your face when I unleashed on you and how cruel I was to have made you feel that way. Please, please accept my apology. I wholeheartedly do, Alana. Thank you. It comes from the heart, you know. I know. Now, what can I get to you? I'll have the chow, please. And I'll take the pasta. I'll be back with your food shortly. I still can't believe I got the sponsorship. It's crazy. Yeah, has, uh, has Stuart talked? Wait. We don't split tips anymore? No, as of this week, we don't. Hey, where'd all that cash come from? Well, it came from me serving six tables while you served that big single. Yeah, whatever. Well, no, that can't be right. Hey, Brent, you got any clean glasses? I need like two for the table that I just ordered. Uh, no. I'm a waiter. I'm paid to wait tables, right? I'm not a volunteer. If they want me to do more, they can pay me. Yeah, but you work here, and you know the kitchen is short-staffed because of your exact oh, it's it's short Hey, boys. I just wanted to let you know that the new owner is coming in today, okay? So please, please look sharp, all right? He'll be selecting the new manager since, you know, this is my last week before I move away, okay? Brent. Come on. What? Look alive. You should be excited. All right, I'm gonna go to our accounting firm, okay? If anything urgent, please give me a call. Sure thing, boss. All right, bye. Huh. Manager. Well, I do have seniority. I should get the promotion. Oh, man, this is great news. Do you know how much a manager makes? Huh. I know how much there is to do. And besides, like, look at us. You're sitting down, scrolling. I'm the one waiting on tables, dude. Hey, don't talk to me like that. All right, I'll decide what to do or not do, and I'm not gonna do more than the minimum unless I get a bigger paycheck. Yeah, yeah whatever. My table just ordered, and I have to... Oh, oh, dude, you're such a klutz. Hey, sorry about that, boss. I was just gonna clean this up, you know, lend a helping hand. Well, that's good. I'm glad you guys are both working on here, because, you know, this kitchen is pretty short-handed. It really shows you care. That's me. I really care. Hurry up though, okay? A larger party just got seated and they were asking me if someone else was coming in, okay? I cannot, I have to go, I cannot watch everything, okay? All right, Scott, you get to that. I'm too busy, you know, helping out in the kitchen. <laughs> well, that's funny. I thought you'd want the tip. Right, like I want to bust my hump when we have to split tips. In a big table, that's going to be appetizers, drinks, the works. I mean, hey, if you have time to volunteer in the kitchen, then you should volunteer to work the big table. Yeah, don't you check your email? Uh, we don't split tips anymore. Wait, we don't split tips anymore? No, as of this week, we don't. Guys, there are people at tables. Come on! <sighs> All right, showtime. Oh. Huh, hey, today I'm getting a promotion and a big tip. You better watch and learn because I'm going to be very demanding when I'm the boss. Yeah, you haven't gotten that promotion yet, but I'll try not to work harder than you when you're the boss. Hey, keep up that attitude and I won't hesitate to fire you. There are hundreds of people out there who would kill for your job. 
Yeah, okay. You take that one. Well, why? First off, because I told you to, okay? Listen, when I'm in charge, you can't ask me stuff like that. You get it? Second, look at him. Who is that? Some hobo who just walked in off the street? He'll want free bread and water. Right, then he's gonna pretend like he's waiting for someone. He'll just leave. He won't leave a tip, and it'll be time wasted. Look, now that we're keeping our tips, I'm not gonna waste my time on some vagrant. You can't talk about him like that. I mean, clothes don't make the man. Besides, he's a customer. What's your plan, genius? Ignore him. All right, well, look at him. His hair hasn't seen a brush in the last five months. His sweater's stained. Look at his work boots. There's even a hole in one of them. My table? They're dressed to the nines. Right, they're gonna order big, and I'm gonna make so much money off the tip. Just let me cook. Yeah, okay. feel free to do whatever you want. I'm still providing a good service and respect. Good evening, sir. I'll be your waiter for tonight. My name is Thanks, Scott. Do you know if there's anything I could get you right off the uh, bat? No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay for now. Yep. All right, that's absolutely fine. Take all the time. I'll check back in with you in a little while. Thanks, I okay. appreciate that. All right. Hello, my name is Brent, and I'll be your waiter this evening. We're all looking very elegant tonight. Could drop off these menus, but perhaps I'll just give you our most luxurious dishes. Maybe sure. we can see the menu. And also, oh. it's customary to serve us some water while we make our order. Yes, uh, my, my apologies. You know, some people like having recommendations. You see, in some fancier restaurants, we waiters are informed, so... We are well aware, and we will ask if we want to. Right. Uh, Perhaps I can start you off with something to drink. Uh, we have a very fine bottle of Montepulciano from... Before. Water, for starters. Of course. I'll be right back. And I'll take that. What? No, this is, this is the appetizer table for order. Yes, right, so tell the cook to make another one. No, they've been waiting a long time. Look, that doesn't matter, all right? They'll order this appetizer, and that's it. Your tip is going to be tiny. If I give my table a small favor, then they'll tip me over 20%. Scott, this is why you'll never get anywhere in life. And here is an appetizer on the house. Oh, and I'll be right back with your water. Yes, that would be nice. Sorry for the wait. I was discussing with my colleague the fact that the rest of the clientele here is less desirable. When I become manager, you can be sure that we will cater to clients with your standards and budget. We'll filter out the cheap stuff. Now, can I take your order? Hey, how are we doing over here? Ready to uh, order? Uh, I was waiting for someone, but it looks like maybe she's not gonna show up. I don't know, I don't really see her. Um, so I was thinking I, maybe I should... Do no, 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 that's absolutely fine, sir. I'm very sorry to hear that. Take all the time you need. If, if anything, just gesture. I'll wait a bit more. I okay, appreciate it. that's fine. All right. So the homeless guy, he, uh, he said he's waiting for someone and he hasn't ordered anything yet. I'm right, aren't I? Listen, I like giving people service because that's what I'm here to do. I mean, I'm aware and all, and everyone likes making more money than less money, but I'm aware because I like helping people. The same way I help in the kitchen, in the back. Besides, it's more fun than scrolling on your phone. You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? My table, they ordered almost all of our most expensive dishes and they're all getting dessert. Yeah, have as much fun as you want. I'm gonna be making more money, not less. That's great. Well, I'm happy that everything was to your liking. Though, as I mentioned, when I become manager, everything will be much better. In any case, here's the bill. Very impressive amount, might I add. Um, you can tip through the card, but cash is preferred, of course into the pocket, no questions asked. Might I ask what occasion you're celebrating this evening? Settlement on a tax evasion case. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll be back for your payment. Oh, excuse me? Could we have more water? Oh, of course. And aren't you going to take some of these uh, plates? Of, of course, I'll be right back with your water. And there is your salad, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Sir. Is everything to your liking? It's okay, fair. Amazing. All right. You guys, more. Yeah. 
so that table racked up a bill about a thousand dollars, which means I'm gonna make at least 200 off of that. And how's your evening? Still think my tips aren't worth listening to? Well, I think if I did listen to them, we'd get like no work done and we would be fighting yeah, over the Yeah, keep talking to me like that when I'm running this place and uh... Hey, where'd all that cash come from? Well, it came from me serving six tables while you served that big single. Yeah, whatever. Well, No, that can't be right. Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I think there must be some mistake. I saw that you put zero as your tip. Did you want a tip in cash? No. Or? No tip sounds about right. But I gave you great service. I, I, I brought you a free appetizer. I mean, you're rich lawyers. Everybody tips. You are smug. You think you know more than us? We ask multiple times to get water, and you keep on bragging about how you're going to be a manager? and make this place more expensive than it is? Secondly, thanks for the appetizers, but that doesn't equal a great service. And thirdly, you just assume we are rich? We are public defense lawyers, and just because we are dressed nice, it doesn't mean that you can treat us like a piggy bank. Oh, and a tip isn't owned to you. It's a custom for a good service. Dalton, Hi, how are you today? It's nice to see you again. Could you please walk with me? Boys, I'd like you to meet Dalton. He's the new owner. Yes, I was waiting for Victoria here in order to meet everyone, because contrary to what you thought, I'm not a hobo. I heard every word you said, and I also saw how you waited on only one table while Scott here waited on six. And he told me how you harass those customers. What? Needless to say that we will meet after your shift to discuss your dismissal. And Scott, we'll meet first thing in the morning to talk about your promotion as new manager. I couldn't think of anyone better. That's great news, sir. Thank you so much. That's, That's amazing. Normal. You worked hard, not for show. Uh, so I suggest you take a break and we have a cup of coffee. Oh, oh, and friends. Please don't forget to pay the bill for the Thazer you gave away. And feel free to leave Scott a tip for bringing it to you. Well, Brent, maybe I did learn something from you. I learned that you should never judge and that you should always do your best. Or maybe you learned that. I don't know, whatever. Good luck on your new job. <laughs> Jeez. That was a great idea, stealing that song. I know, right? Now, stick with me, kid, and I'll make you famous. We gotta get to the TV station. I'll get the car. Wait for you out front. I'm gonna be there in a second. Dana! You stole my song! So what? It's not like you were going to do anything with it anyways. But, but it's my song. You know what it means to me. And? It has over a million hits on YouTube. People love me. And you're singing? It's never gonna get you anywhere. Trust me, it's better if you just let me sing your little songs. I thought we were friends. You know, it's always been my dream to be a singer and I worked so hard on that song. The only reason they let you hang around a studio is because your brother works here. You don't have what it takes to be a singer. Unlike me, Luke says I have it all. I thought we were friends. Excuse me? Aren't we? You just keep on writing your cute little lyrics and I can sing them. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor. You should be thanking me. Hey, is that a new song? Give it to me. No. Give it to me! No! I'm saying give it no. to me! What did you do? Well, looks like no one can have it then. It probably sucked anyways. Tana, are you coming? <sighs> yeah, Luke. Violet was just wasting my time. Oh, and by the way, we took your songwriting credits. So don't walk around and tell people it's yours. <laughs> Sis, are are you crying? Oh, Owen. You confronted Tana about that song she stole from you, haven't you? What did she say? She... she 
just acted like it was no big deal, like almost she was doing me a favor. Then she ripped up my new song I was working on. I, I can't believe how awful she is. And the studio executives are backing her? Though, we all know that's just because she's dating the producer. You know, you should be getting the credit for your song, not her. I don't know, maybe she's right. Maybe I don't have what it takes to be a singer. Don't say that. That's what she wants you to think, but it's false. Violet, you have so much talent. I don't know, Owen. <laughs> but you have to believe me. I'm not just saying it because you're my sister. Everyone here thinks so. Though, the most important thing is for you to know so. But how am I supposed to know it when I can't seem to accomplish anything here? Violet, you can only succeed as long as you believe in yourself. You know, you're right. If I want to succeed, I have to believe in myself. But, but how? I feel powerless. Well, record your own version of the song. But they took songwriting credits and they told me that they would sue me if I said it was mine. But everyone knows you wrote that song and you have the original sheet music. Don't worry about it. Don't give in to her threats. She's a bully. You know, you're right. Everyone here in the studio knows that it's my song and they cannot prove it's theirs. Yeah, just don't worry about it. And I'll help you record it. And I'm sure the studio musicians would love to back you up. Do you really think so? I know so. Owen, you're the best brother I could ever hope for. I don't even know what to say. Don't say anything, just sing. <laughs> Afraid to take a shot Like failing would define me I wouldn't step into the light shine Did not believe that I could take a fight Succeed for who I am These bitches wanna fight But now I have to take my chance I would not stay She literally stole her song It's Dana Guys, can we get some work done here? Yo, you gotta check this out, it's Dana No, she literally stole Hi, Tana. So I heard around a studio that you're recording your version of the song. Yeah, and? Violet, why do you have to make things so complicated? We took your songwriting credits. If you record a song, Luke will sue you. But, but he can't. I can prove it's my song. Who can get the best lawyer in this country? And who will represent you? <laughs> Some law student? It, it doesn't matter. It's my song and I can prove it. Well, then you have to prove it in court. It's not like anybody would listen to your song anyways. That would be so sad. But maybe they will. Yeah, right. Like anybody would listen to you. You don't have what it takes to be a singer. And you better stop recording. Because if you don't, Luke and I will come in. And then, you'll be sorry. Violet, are you all right? You look sad. What happened? Nothing, just... Was that Dana? What happened? It was Tana on the phone. She, she just threatened to sue me again and... Maybe I should just give up. I, I'm not cut out to be the singer. Well, is that what she said or is that what you think? What? Well, I mean, did she say that just to discourage you, or do you actually think you don't have what it takes to be a singer? Well, I don't know, and yes, that's what she said, but I feel like singing is what I love doing. This is what I'm passionate about. Well, yeah, so who cares about what she said? I mean, as long as you feel that it's what you like to do, that it's what you're supposed to do, then that's the only thing that matters. Do you really think so? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say so if it were differently, right? So let's finish recording that song. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it. And we're, we're, we're not bad again. Erase those files. Turn off those computers. 
I want Violet out of this studio and I never want to see her here again. Is that understood? What did I do? Listen, Violet, your songs are cute. We were happy to test them out for you. But this studio is pushing Tana's career and I'm not going to let you come in and get in the way of the studio's plans. But you stole my song. Why are you pushing her career with my song? Why don't I get a shot? Because that's the way it is. She has the image, she has the talent, and you don't. Now, I'm gonna make this as clear as I possibly can. Destroy those recordings, or I will fire everyone in this room. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, Owen, you're just trying to help out your sister, but I think your encouragement has gone on long enough. And now that your job is on the line, she doesn't look that talented anymore, does she? Just admit it, and you can keep your job. She has no future as a singer. Violet. I love you, and... And I quit. I quit. I believe in my sister. She has talent and deserves recognition. I quit too. I quit as well. Sit down. I still quit. Violet is talented and Tana is a hack. All of your vocals are auto-tuned and we all know you only push her because she's sleeping with the producer. How dare you? Oh, well, excuse me for telling the truth, ma'am. You're a bunch of morons. What are you gonna do now, huh? You're nothing without us. Oh, but you know what? I think it's time we start our own label. We don't need you to record us. We just recorded my version of my song by ourselves. <laughs> and it's ten times better than Tana's version. We don't need you. You're all gonna regret this. Here's some coffee for you to wake up and realize you suck. Violet opens her recording studio with the help of her brother and her friends. And she follows her dream of becoming a singer. Violet releases her version of her song, and it becomes an even bigger hit than Tana's version. She becomes an overnight star. Violet sues Tana and Luke for intellectual property theft. And wins. They have to pay her reparations. The scandal only boosts her career. She receives invitations all over the place. Fans love her. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Late Night. I'm your host, Andrew Davis. Thank you for joining us, whether you're watching at home or live in our TV audience in the studio. Our first guest is an acclaimed new singer making her network television debut right here on The Andrew Davis Show. So, let's get her out here. Oh, Violet! Hello! Hi, Andrew! Thanks for having so me. Glad you came out. Please, Thank you. make yourself at home. Thank you. Well, Violet, things have really taken off for you. Your concerts are sold out worldwide, you're in constant demand, and I was afraid we wouldn't be able to get you on the show. What? And miss an opportunity meeting you? Nah. Oh, well, color me flattered. Ah, you know, Andrew, I really wanted to mention this here in case it would help anyone else. So before I became successful, I really had some confidence issues. What? Yeah, well, I was really lucky because I had my brother Ovin and my friends that really believed in me. He told me this one thing. He said, you can only succeed as long as you believe in yourself. Well, 
I guess that's the message I want to share with the world today. Believe in yourself. You can't succeed unless you believe in yourself. Wow, that is a very important message. Thank you. And I bet you've inspired a lot of people out there with what you've shared with us today. Thank you. Well, I think you're here to sing your new song tonight. That's right. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's give a big hand to Violet and her new song, Believe in Yourself. Like failing, would you find me? I would not step into the light Afraid and I believe That I could take a flight Succeed for who I am But now I have to take my chance I can't hold in my passion I aim for stars and Pride myself for trying, but now I can't hold in my passion. I aim for stars and pride myself for trying. I have friends by my side, I can see where I want to go, and no one can make me look away. Head held up in pride I can't contain the fire in me I want to burn so bright But now I have to take my chance I can't hold in my passion I'll aim for stars and pride myself for trying But now I have to take my chance can't hold in my passion I aim for stars and pride myself for trying Tana? Did you see my brother, Oven? He just left, but I think he'll be back, though. I have to run, but I want to sing him the song that I wrote. I'll send him a text that I'm leaving. He's here for him, okay? He's he's a little old school. He likes to have shit music printed okay. out. Okay, yes. Yeah. Hey, this is good. Babe, are you ready? We got a lot of work to do if you're gonna be a big star. Look, this is a song Violet wrote, but I think if we take it... Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. If we change it a little, Violet won't say anything. She's a total pushover. We could probably steal all of her songs and she wouldn't even do anything. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> She's such a loser. We're not only exercising, we're changing lives. He just touched my butt. I didn't. We need to gather as much evidence as possible. I will destroy your life. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the wire and I tripped. Give it back to me. You ruined my whole setup. You did it on purpose, right? I I'm, I'm sorry. I was just trying to fix it. And why would I do this on purpose? Oh my gosh. You just wanted my attention, didn't you, creep? No, I didn't. And why didn't you use the other power socket? 
This is literally the way where everyone is walking. Anyone could have tripped on it. Just go. I don't want to see your face anymore. I won't forget this easily. If you mess with me, I will destroy your life. Hey guys, it's me, Nikki. In my channel, we're not only exercising, we're changing lives. Today, I'm gonna show you how to work on your legs and glutes. So, the best thing you can do to your legs is... Oh. You just touched my butt. How dare you? Sorry, what did you say? How dare you touch my butt? I didn't. You don't even care about being recorded on camera? That is so disgusting. <sighs> Guys, this man just touched me while I was walking past him. It's so sad that women can't even exercise without being harassed. Are gyms still safe for girls? Look at this creep touching my butt. Now? This were better than any other content I've ever shared. I have to do it again. Hey! Nikki, right? I saw your TikTok. And I just wanted to say that I also got harassed in a gym a few years ago. And it means a lot to me that you're speaking up about this. Wait. Are you Amanda? Jim with M? From TikTok? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> wow. I've always wanted to be like you. You were the main reason I've started my account. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that. But you know, about that guy. Maybe I can help you with him. I've gone through the same thing. Have you ever seen that guy before? No, I don't think so. Did you tell the management? Yeah. Oh, no, no, not yet, actually. I'm afraid they'll tell me it's my fault, and, you know. I know how I feel. Trust me, I felt the same way, but we need to gather as much evidence as possible. We can meet tomorrow, and I'll keep an eye on him. If he does anything, I'll be your witness. I don't think that's necessary. Maybe he just wanted to do it one time. No. Look, I know how difficult it is to bring yourself up to report such incident. But even one time, harassment is harassment. I'll be with you, and I'm sure that together we can make a change. Sure. Thanks. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Can we take a selfie together? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I cannot let her see that the guy didn't harass me. Hmm. I know. I'm Nikki. In my channel, we're not only exercising, we're changing lives. Today, I'm gonna show you my favorite sportswear. So, this is a sports bra I recently got from. Get out, you creep! 
I think you are in a... Why did you follow me into the changing room? I didn't. Why are you still here? Get out, you pervert! Guys, I don't think I'll ever be able to feel safe here anymore. I think that's gonna be my last life with you from here. Because it makes me so uncomfortable working out next to such creeps. I also wanted to thank you for all your supporting messages. I can't even imagine how many similar stories you shared with me. I promise you, I will do everything to make our voices heard. Love you guys. I can't believe how many more followers this is gonna get me. <laughs> Scumbag! I bet you don't even come to the gym to work out. You just want to harass women. I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea? You'll pretend that you didn't touch my friend's butt? That you didn't walk into the woman's changing room just to see her naked? Hey! What? I saw your video. It's terrible. Did you say anything about a piece of crap to the management or the police? No, I don't think they'd take me seriously. You have all the proof. Yeah, but... Come on, we'll make this work. We will get you banned from this gym. Hey, I think he saw your video and is coming to kick that creep out. Give me your phone. We're gonna go live with this moment. I don't think that's... Miss, we need to talk. Yeah? Did you see my video on TikTok? I did. So, are you gonna ban that guy from gym? Um, no. What? Why? He sexually harassed her. No, he didn't. He wasn't the one abusing Nikki. What do you mean? Nikki was abusing him. I don't understand what you're... I saw the camera footage from the corridor. You put fake signs on the changing rooms. You framed our gym member. It must be a misunderstanding. I doubt it. And since your videos have caused quite a lot of damage to our gym member and our gym's reputation, I decided to share that camera footage on our TikTok channel to clarify the situation. I trusted you. I thought you were speaking for all the sexually assaulted victims. You were lying to all of us this whole time. You know, because of liars like you, people stop believing the real victims. You don't deserve to be an influencer. Influencer. I hope no one was watching this. I really hope no one was watching this. 4,000? I lost more than 100,000 followers? You ruined my career! You did it yourself, miss. No, that's not fair. I will ask you to leave this building. Please. Don't touch me. Hey! You know, after I was assaulted, I was always afraid of men. But now I can see that it's not always men who do it. I'm sorry you had to experience all of this and about what I said earlier. No worries. And I would have probably said the same thing to someone who had assaulted my friend. Thanks. This situation is really amazing. Yeah. That was definitely not how I imagined my first days at the new gym. <laughs> Hi guys! Did you like the story? Do you know an even better story to tell? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe we'll use your idea in our future video. If you want to keep up with our releases, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish a new, original story every week. See you soon!